Hello guys, welcome back to P.O. Box Polls, episode number three. And in today's episode, we have two pieces of mail to open up and a jersey. So this one should be action-packed. Now in today's episode, we have one letter to open. We got a medium-sized package to open. And we got this package, also a jersey that I purchased. So for everything that's in here besides jersey, I don't know what's coming. So watch till the end to find out what's inside. Now, I'll share the P.O. Box number and the registration itself on the screen right now, but I also wanted to share with you guys this Montreal Canadiens hat. I don't think I ever officially said it was actually here on the channel. I think I had it in one video in the past, but it's been here for a couple of weeks. I now have a Montreal Canadiens hat, so I might as well tell you guys right now. Now, we'll open the letter first in the medium-sized one and then the jersey last but not least. But we're going to start out with the letter. And this one is pretty interesting because I got this thinking it was just a letter from some subscriber, which would be amazing. But the registration right here, I'll, I'll show you guys here. It, it says Sergei Gonchar. And if this is actually Sergei Gonchar, that gets me pretty excited. Now, I'm going to open it up now, try and tear it up at least as possible. I'm terrible with opening letters, by the way. I, I simply cannot do it. Um, here we go. Okay. I Okay, I see something inside. I think it's a card. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So, we're ripping it here now. You guys can get the first look. Again, I'm terrible at opening letters, so... Alright, I don't know what this is quite yet. It's looking like a card. Looking like a card. Okay. Great job, Nate. Here's a little gift from Tim. Holy crap! This is a Sir. This is an actual Sir Gonchar card. Wait a sec. I think this thing is signed. Okay, so I have this thing open now, and this is amazing. This is freaking amazing. An autographed Sergei Gonchar, Washington Capitals with the with the Eagle logo back then, with the sweet alternate jersey as well. It it is signed uh, with some great marker on the bottom. Perfect right there, perfect right there. And he also Tim also sent um, a nice thing here, a nice way to put the card in. So Tim Hefty messaged me on Discord saying that he would send me some various stuff. He didn't want to spoil me, so I was like, okay, I'll keep it a surprise. I never expected an autograph Sergei Gonchar, but I will take it. Now I'm gonna put this thing back where it rightfully belongs because I don't want to ruin it whatsoever. If I end up doing that, I'm never going to forgive myself at all. But now that it's kind of snug, kind of cozy in there, now I have a Sergei Gonchar. That's pretty amazing. That's fantastic. I freaking love that. That's amazing. I, he's probably one of my favorite players back in his day in the 2000s. Amazing freaking player. That's great to get somebody that good autographed to the collection. I mean, my, my hockey card collection is pretty much nothing right now, besides what William has sent me. But this thing is a absolute thing of beauty. Uh, there's stuff on the back also, um, just like career stats as well. But that is an amazing card to have now in the collection. It, it's, it's just freaking incredible. But again, big thanks to Tim for sending Sending this in is an absolute beauty. Going to have to put it somewhere special, somewhere where it's probably not going to get bent whatsoever. So that's freaking amazing. Again, this thing is kind of it's kind of bendable a little bit, but I'm going to take care of it as much as I can because this is just a beautiful card, obviously. Now the next package, this medium sized package, is once again from William Bryant. He's gone way above and beyond any expectations. I think he's had one thing or one thing to open in every single P.O. Box polls episode so far. So he has been absolutely lights out and he bring another package once again and that he didn't tell me whatsoever what it was. So we're going to be going into this random once again. All right, so I have opened just a little bit here. I'm trying not to look inside as I try and open this. It ruins all the fun if you see what's inside before you're actually able to open it. Uh, I'm try again, I'm trying not to see. I'm trying to see where I'm ripping, and I I'm kind of seeing things. Okay, now on this side. Come on. Okay. Okay, we are in. We're good. We're good. I don't know what's in here, but we're going to find out anyways. Okay, so the first thing we got is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got, we got, yes, we got a utility knife. We got the, um, what's it called? The pa not the box knife. That's what it's called. 
finally have one of these. Thanks, thanks, William. <laughs> I'm gonna need these. I'm gonna need these. That's something that he was kind of poking fun of in the comments last time. Yeah, I kind of need, I, I actually kind of need this, so yeah, thank you. Thanks, William. Let me, yeah, I, I actually kind of needed that. Thank you. Okay, now for the rest of the package, I still don't know what's in here. Okay, we got a letter. Uh, probably should read this now, so uh, I guess I'll do that. Then we'll then we'll get into. I feel like there's more stuff in there, anyways. Uh, hey man, I should probably send something besides hockey cards, but at this point, it's sort of my trademark. I'm too far down the rabbit hole to turn back. Anyways, keep the hockey talk coming, and cheers for any everything. Let's go, Canes. I've all I've included a helpful uh, tool for this series. Thanks, William. Thanks, absolute absolute beast. I'm gonna again. I'm going to need these. I'm definitely going to need them, and for the package for the jersey I got I will need that too okay so since he said that it is his trademark I'm going to okay oh boy oh uh, oh okay I I think there there's okay this isn't just like a box this is like this is like everything everything imaginable okay all right um all right, just some more, just like, okay, uh, some more, oh, all right, all right, all right. Um, that's a lot. Now, for all the Habs fans out there on the channel, you're going to be pretty happy with this. Uh, let's see, a Parkhurst 2018-2019 uh, Find New Parkhurst Rookie Cards. So, you got Carey Price on the cover of that, not bad, not bad at all, but this is one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hockey card packs to a box in this video. This is just ridiculous, William. Come on, man. I mean, I am by no means going to say no to hockey cards. We're going to open this in this video. But I'm just saying, it's going to make the P.O. Box videos a lot more long. Which, for some people, I, I could say is a good thing. Now, we're going to go with this in order. I'm gonna go 12 to 1. Last time, William sent a bunch of hockey cards and I couldn't unbox them all whatsoever. Uh, I think I'm gonna do most of these, uh, mostly because I think these actually include unique cards. So I'm gonna be going for the first few packs and maybe if I uh, find some special ones in the last few, I'll also tell you guys about that. So uh, we'll go through every single one in the first pack. So we got a nice little Sean Couturier, uh, Dustin Brown, Dustin Bifuglin. I'm, I'm kidding, by the way. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, Tanner Pearson <laughs> on the LA Kings. Uh, not anymore. Nuh-uh. Uh, Philip Forsberg. Not bad. Yeah, the kid that was called that, that won the Calder. Uh, Jared Anderson Dolan. That's not bad. Rookie. Uh, Adam Larson. Pretty cool. Ooh, we got some Clayton Keller action. With that nut with the Kachina jersey, which I have in the closet as well. And last but not least, Lars Eller. We're gonna see what's in pack number two. Uh, if there's anything special on this, hopefully. I, I, again, I don't even know what's special in these because I'm not even a hockey card guy. I, I, I'm just going by what's what's here. Now you got a Ryan Strom. That's on the Edmonton Oilers. That's not that's not up to date. Uh, speaking of, speaking of not up to date. Mark Stone by uh, the Ottawa Senators. That's 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 fun. That's that's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, you got Mr. Overrated, Miko Rantanen. Uh, don't at me. Don't at me. Uh, Alex Goligoski, my guy, my boy. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 and a Parkhurst Permits, Tomas Tsa Let's see, I, this is like a, this is amazing. This is like a driver's license somewhat of Thomas Tatar. <laughs> it's all like sparkly and it says like, it says left wing from Slovakia, uh, Ileva, Slovakia. He's a male. Uh, that's, pr that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. And on the back, it has pretty cool graphic there, like the whole world and has Slovakia on the bottom. That's pretty cool. I like that. Tomas Tetsa. Uh, a rookie, Warren Fagel. Not bad. Uh, an all-star. An all-star, Brent Burns. Absolute beauty. Uh, Adam Henrique. And last but not least, a Matt Dumba. But that, 
that Thomas Tatar card is instantly the best one here. I, I, that's honestly pretty freaking cool. Now on to pack number four. Uh, we'll see if there's anything in here. We'll, we'll see. I think my pack look is kind of running out because we got some unique cards early in this. But I don't know. I'm hoping for no. I'm hoping for more. If there's any like cool cards, like it, I literally don't care as long as it looks cool. I'll show it off. <laughs> That's literally my my parameter. If it looks cool, I mean, yeah, good by me. Um, so first off, we got a Nick Letty. Hey, we got my boy Tyler Sagan. There we go. There we go. Chris Kreider of the New York Rangers. Uh, Mikel Backlund, Calgary Flames. My boy. My boy, Braden Point. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Miro Heiskinen. <laughs> Prominent prospects, Miro Heiskinen. How many times am I going to run into Miro Heiskinen? Just because I love him doesn't mean I need all the cards, but hey, I will take it. It's got some, it's got some shininess there. Miro Heiskinen on the back. It's pretty much got the same picture, but that's freaking cool. I like that. My boy, Miro Heiskinen. Let's go. Perfect pack. Tyler Sagan, Brandon Point, and Miro Heiskinen. Freaking perfect. Uh, Christian Vasilainen, rookie. Um, All-star Mark andre Fleury. That's pretty cool. Uh, and Andre Burakovsky. And last but not least, David Perron. But in that pack, Tyler Sagan, a Brighton Point, and whatever that rookie card was from Miro Heiskanen, that was a big success. All right, so pack number six. Again, I, with that pack number five, I was kind of feeling my puck luck, or not my puck luck. My puck luck? What am I talking about anymore? My pack luck. Pack luck. It might be dwindling, dwindling a little bit. Uh, first, we have a Patrick Kane to start off pack number six. My boy Barack Besser, still lucky. Uh, William Nylander, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, David Pasternak. This is this is full of Bay players already. Oh, speaking of Bay, William Carlson. William Carlson, that's amazing. Uh, oh, keep keep going with Bay players. Brain hold me. Keep going with it. Uh, Dylan du uh, Dubois. Dubois rookie. Dubay. I, I say it Dubay. I don't think you go Dubois on that one. Uh, Sandy Vanden of the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Jonathan Taves. Uh, and then last but not least, a Blake Coleman. So not too much, just some standard cards, but hey, a lot of Bay players in that one. You gotta be honest with that. All right, on to pack number seven. Uh, pack six was pretty meh. Pretty meh, not the greatest. Not the greatest, but hey, we'll get them next time. Don't you worry. Don't you worry whatsoever. So, oh, we're starting out great here. My boy Austin Matthews, baby. Ooh, okay, so there's a checklist. Um, I won through 110. I think this is just pretty standard. Uh, Sam Bennett of the Calgary Flames. Uh, Henrik Zetterberg, poor guy. Poor guy, that's still pretty cool, though. Uh, a Bo Horvat, not bad. Ooh, so the same thing as the Miro Heiskanen card. Uh, prominent prospects, Elias Anderson. That's pretty cool. Uh, he hasn't played the greatest this season. Uh, not better than people, some, some people expected, but uh, still good. Uh, rookie, Ryan Nato, now with the your Minnesota Wild. Uh, Patrice Bergeron. Uh, uh, Tomas Herzl. Of the San Jose Sharks and a Gabriel Landeskog last poor guy had that se had that almost season and in in injury. Uh, my gosh, that's I, I can't speak anymore. I can't speak at all. Yeah, Gabriel Landeskog had a like season ending injury. Poor guy, but yeah, that Lias Anderson card was probably the best thing here. Um, I think he still will be decent, but that's a pretty cool card nonetheless. All right, on to pack number eight. Uh, we have four more packs after this to open. We'll see what we get. Uh, I would say we're. I've seen we're gonna get something cool, but not great in this pack. I'm feeling my puck luck, or my not my puck luck. I said it again. I said it again. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm dying over here. Uh, first, we have a Blake Wheeler, Winnipeg Jets. Uh, a Nikita Kucherov. Show some respect. Bow to the savior, Nikita Kucherov. Uh, Anze Kopitar. Ooh, next up. Next up, best player in the NHL. I'm kidding, by the way, Jimmy Ben. Uh, Brian Little. Uh, ooh, so we got another prominent prospects card of Michael Rasmussen. I, 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 I thought it was Rasmussen, but I heard the Detroit, Detroit, Detroit announcer saying it as Rasmussen, so I, I don't know about that. Uh, you got a rookie, Sam Steele. Not bad. He's a good player. Good man. Good character. Uh, Travis Zajac. Uh, Chris Tierney, one of the only players left on Ottawa, it seems. And last but not least, a Patrick Berglund. Oof, that's 
that's kind of got a sour taste in my mouth then. <laughs> but the best player, uh, the best thing in that pack, I would say, was the prominent prospects Rasmussen. Uh, he's a pretty good guy, pretty good player, pretty good prospect, and a pretty good card. All right, on to pack number nine for reference. We have, let's see, let's we have three more packs after pack number nine, so we'll get into this one right now. I'm feeling some massive puck luck, or not, what am I doing? I'm saying puck luck again. Pack luck. I'm feeling some massive pack luck in this one. Though, that probably means that I'll get nothing, let's be real here. Uh, first card is a Corey Crawford. Not bad, absolute legend. Uh, Kyle Palmieri. Good player, good season. Brendan Sad. Sad Sod. Sad Sod. Uh, Mark Edward Vlasic. The Pickle Man. The Pickle Man. Uh, Nolan Patrick. Not bad. Good player. Um, uh, Jonathan Huberdell. Oh, wait a sec. I don't know. Well, this is this is interesting. It, it looks it looks special, but I'm not sure about this. Now this says original six future Anthony Manfa. Uh, I'm going to guess, of course, Red Wings being the original six, um, Anthony Mantha being there. That's a pretty interesting card. It's glowy. It got that, like, I don't know, we're not full less, fluorescent lights, but yeah, that's a pretty interesting card. I'm not sure if it's really anything. It says original six, future Anthony Mantha. I mean, Anthony Mantha is not that, not that young anyways, but that's a pretty cool card. Pretty shiny. That's what I like right now. Uh, a rookie, Rasmus Dahl. That's not bad. Uh, and an all-star, Johnny Goudreau. I like that. And last but not least, a Michael Grabner with the Kachina jersey on. I like that also, but probably the best one in here will be that Ricky Dolan or uh, this original six, Anthony Mampha. Again, I still don't know what it means, but hey, it looks pretty cool, so I'll take it as that. All right, so on to the third last pack, pack number 10. Uh, I was feeling some, I, again, I felt, I felt some good pack luck in the last one. We'll see what happens here, but that Mampha card, I, I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's decent, even though uh, it, it didn't really look like that. Uh, but for pack number 10, we're going to start out with, oh, my boy, my boy, my boy, Radic Faxa. There we go. Starting it out, starting it out with a bay. Uh, Kyle Turris, Nashville Predators. Uh, Mika Zabinijan, there we go. There we go, I like that. Uh, Alexander Kerfoot. Uh, Tyson Jost, or Yost, Jost, Yost. Uh, oh, ooh, this one, this one's pretty cool. It's another view from the ice, but it's Jamie Benn. Uh, that's with Bobrovsky, I do believe. I'm gonna try and get it closer, maybe you can zoom. Maybe you can zoom, my camera might be stupid right now, but on the back it also has Jamie Ben. Uh, view from the ice, he's kind of, again, he kind of looks a little bit, kind of looks a little bit constipated as well, same thing as Eric Ekblad, but that's still pretty cool. You get a Jamie Ben one as well, that's pretty fun. Uh, we got a rookie, Zach Ashton Reese, poor guy, Tom Wilson. Uh, you got a Charles Hugh Dorn. Also, not getting played too much, poor guy. Uh, an all-star, Chris Letang. And last but not least, another penguin, Justin Schultz. That's not bad. So, again, probably the best thing in that one would be the view from the ice, Jamie Ben. That's pretty fun. I mean, that, like, that kind of surprised me how we get a Jamie Ben right off the bat, but that's pretty fun. Again, I'm not sure if that's good at all, but hey, I'll take it. Now on to the last two packs, and we're going to go with pack number 11. Save the best for last, hopefully. I mean, again, I don't know what these cards are or if they're good at all, but hey, if they look shiny, they're good to me, okay? They're good to me. All right, uh, there we go. Just had to give it a little bit of um. I always had to bite stuff like Lego pieces when I was a kid, so I'm used to it. But first, we have Jared Spurgeon uh, starting out. Another Minnesota defenseman, Ryan Suter. Uh, oh, there we go. Big Bay, Brendan Gallagher. That's not bad. Uh, Jake Muzzin with the LA Kings. That's not current whatsoever, but hey. Uh, we got a Braden McNabb. Not bad. Ooh, we got another view from the ice. Claude Giroux. Um, there with Max. Ta <laughs> He's there with Talbot, his now teammate. That's funny. It's a view from the ice. Claude Giroux. I don't know if this will focus at all, but it looks like he's constipated as well. Hockey players are usually constipated when they're on the ice. I don't know what that is. Uh, we got a rook rookie at Robert Thomas. Not bad with that third jersey on. Uh, oh, this is cool. Rookie Andre Zvechnikov. There we go. William, I know you're a Canes fan. You'll like that one. He also has a third jersey on. Uh, an all-star John DeVaris. Apparently a traitor still. Apparently. And last but not least, an Alex Kalorn. Not bad. Good player. Good personality. Uh, but yeah, that view from the ice, Claude Giroux. 
I mean, I feel, these cards are pretty interesting because I don't think they're worth anything, but they're still pretty cool cards to just look at. Now, I'm going to sort through all these cards later. Probably going to put my updated uh, card holder on Twitter, see how that looks. But I'm going to go through all these cards later. But again, a just gigantic thanks to William. Not just for the cards he sent today and also the box cutter, but for everything he's sent throughout the series. Again, one per episode. He's just gone above and beyond and has just been fantastic, man. Just sending, sending in three packages, one person. I never really expected that. But again, big thank you. All right, so I guess I might as well go through this. I've already, or the box cutter. I've already tried to rip or ripped it apart. I mean, it wasn't coming out, so I used my scissors. But again, kind of kind of ironic that I couldn't get into the box cutters. That's that's pretty much my life there. But we have this beautiful, beautiful box cutter, and now I will lift it from its shield. And that is scary. I do not want to touch this anymore. Uh, mommy, come help me, please. <laughs> this thing is actually legit, though. I actually kind of needed something like this. So, William, the cards were nice, but I did get something I needed. So, big thanks for that. All right, so I might as well use these box cutters to actually open something. Uh, again, kids, do not try this at home. Parental and or parental guidance advice, I think that's what they call it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to need this thing because this 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 whole package was rough, roughed up quite a bit by USPS. So again, it is kind of damaged already, but I, it will it'll be worth it in the end because this jersey is it's not anything that I have not that I haven't had before, but it's it's a jersey that's it's it's a Dallas Stars jersey, but it's one that I kind of needed in my collection. Uh, so this will be jersey number twenty twenty three, I think. 20, oh gosh, okay, so the jersey is, oh no, that's that's dumb. The jersey is right there, and I'm really happy I did not box cut that right into oblivion. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, as you can tell already, that is a white jersey. Um, the second white jersey I have, and I only have, when this jersey gets open, it'll be, I only have two way jerseys, and they're both Dallas Stars jerseys. Um, but this is going to be... This is something that I've wanted to have for a long time, like a long, long time. And it's a Reebok jersey, not an Adidas, but um, it's still a pretty great one. And here it is. Okay, so it is a Dallas Stars jersey, and I will let it out just a little bit. There you go. And by that, you can probably tell that, yes, it is the away Dallas Stars jersey. I'm going to lift it from its cage as doing so. Uh, I did get a player on the back, as I always do. I need my players on the back. <laughs> But I'm going to lift it out now, and it's taking. Okay, come on, come on. There, there we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Dallas Stars away jersey, boys. That's a hundred percent, a hundred percent real. 100% good. Now I got this jersey on eBay. Uh, this beautiful Dallas Stars jersey. Uh, I got this on eBay for 40 It was $40 plus tax so, or tax and shipping, so it was like $48 in the end. But that's still friggin' incredible. So, the player on the back, I got Devin Shore. Um, just because he was traded to the Anaheim Ducks, uh, that just meant that somebody was probably trying to get rid of that jersey. Um, but I will definitely scoop it up, Devin Shore. Um, he wasn't a great player, but he was trying his hardest, I guess, uh, number 17. Um, and even though he wasn't my favorite player, he was still a pretty decent one and was one of the only good players last season, so take that for what it is, but I got this jersey again on eBay. It wasn't by, a pr it wasn't by like a full moon jerseys or anybody that like ritually sells jerseys, but I got it for a pretty great deal. Uh, so there's a Twitter account named um, TJ or the Jersey Finder. Uh, he goes through eBay and pretty much finds all the best deals on hockey jerseys. I found this jersey through one of the listings that he put up on Twitter and I cannot thank him enough because this thing is just beautiful. Now it is a large jersey, so it will be kind of bulky on me, I say, or uh, kind of just too much on me. But again, it was a deal that I didn't want to pass up. I wanted the Dallas Stars jersey, the away jersey, uh, the current ones. I thought they were amazing, and I really, really wanted to have one. It will be very handy to have in the future. Um, but again, I wanted to get a jersey like this for a long, long time. I always wanted to get the away jersey because it was one of my favorites, and I finally have it, and might as well put it on now. All right, so now you get a little bit of a hair reveal. Might as well put this on. Now, I need a haircut. Don't tell me. I already know that. <laughs> I already know that. Don't tell me. But putting on this jersey for the first time. Might as well put the hat on now. 
But this thing, it, it, again, it's an away jersey that I wanted. There are very few white jerseys that I actually want in my collection, but this one is a pretty, pretty big uh, asterisk to that rule. Uh, but again, I like how the Dallas Stars jersey is on these white jerseys. It's like, it, it, it was almost made to put on white jerseys. I really do like it. And it, it has the same feel as the, as the one I already have, the green one. But again, I just like having it in my collection. It's not, it's not as good as the Adidas quality, obviously, but I don't think I was going to get an Adidas of the white jersey. So I'm glad I did get Devin Shore on the back. It is a pretty good player to have. Um, and by the way, now I'm seeing that there is this one string that is getting me very, very uh, anxious to cut it off or do something with it, but not the greatest condition, but still a pretty solid jersey nonetheless, and I am super glad to have in the collection because when it comes to Dallas Stars jerseys, there's really not too much else that I, that I want right now. I have one of the, I have the throwback jersey to when they won the Stanley Cup. I have this jersey. I have the Adidas jersey. There's, when it comes to Dallas Stars, I really don't need too much more, and this one pretty much cle completes the jerseys that I really want to go after with the Dallas Stars, which obviously means more teams will be brought in. But again, I bought this myself for $48, still a pretty great deal for uh, not just a Reebok jersey, but for a Dallas Stars jersey and with a name on the back. So it is a pretty great deal. Very happy to have it in the collection. It is jersey number 23 or 24, last time I could remember. But again, I'm still trying to get to a point where I'm wanting to get a hat for every team and a jersey of every team. But the Dallas Stars, that, Do that Dallas Stars deal that I found, again, through the jersey finder, is something that I personally could not resist obviously. But again, gigantic thanks to both William and Tim for something, sending something in. The card is the Circuit Gonchar card, and of course the most important thing, the box cutters. And thankfully I did not box cut that jersey too much, um, thankfully, because it would have been toast if I did. Uh, but this jersey is still pretty great, got it for a great price, and remember, shout out to the jersey finder for finding it. But of course, again, if you want to send something in, whether it be a letter or something extra crazy, make sure to send it to the P.O. Box down below, P.O. Box 780, Wiley, Texas, and of course, zip code five, five, or 75098. Make sure you do so if you want to send something in. You obviously do not have to, but if you want to get that shout out and you want to send something in from you in box, make sure you do so. And I usually go to the post offices on every Tuesday. I, probably much every month is where I'm going to do the P.O. Box openings when I get enough packages to actually open up on the episodes but again if you want to send in something in the information will be on the screen and of course in the description but of course with this video I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what did you think about the things we unboxed in this video. What do you think about the Sergey Gonchar autograph card? What do you think about the cards that William sent in? And of course, what do you think about the extra jersey getting sent into the collection number 23? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about the Tampa Bay Lightning and then clutching the 2019 NHL playoffs. But that is going for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on the things we unboxed in today's P.O. Box polls. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.